Okay, we're back. Thanks for hanging out, everyone. Thank you, Circle. I'm not used to making that jump when it's like in that exact position. That's okay. Sometimes it's like the shortest song in the world on this. terrifies me when the screen scrolls up. <laughs> Does that mean friend is coming? This music is killing me right now. Bun's having a little bit of a resurgence, which is pretty cool. I think that particular streamer put Bun Bun World down for a bit and went and did some other stuff and came back to it. If I remember correctly. Yeah, I don't know if I know who that is. Well, like, me not knowing another Bun? Hate that for me. <laughs> <clears throat> emergency Bun Council. Bum 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 Okay, I have to be careful that I don't just hit up when I go into these doors. Uh, cause my last run kind of fell apart a couple of lives because I did that twice. I don't think- <clears throat> I don't think it actually mattered that I did it the first time because I think it was just on the triclide fight and I got good pattern with that. Uh, but it absolutely well, mattered on the second the one because it was a waste of a life that I clearly couldn't afford to spend. And that's where we're at. We're at the point of the game where, like, a lot of my production. <clears throat> the good news is, if I can get through a world five, there's basically only one full length world left after that because world six is just one level, and by design, world seven is just. 7-1 and 7-2. So 5-3 is actually like relatively farther into the game than it maybe like numerically seems like it is. You know, weird pattern for this, but it's fine. <laughs> it's been a while since I've gotten a pattern where I have to go over friend. That's fine, just go over this way then. <laughs> I 
It is kind of cool that I can feel myself getting better at my own game, though, because I've never really had that before. Because uh, most of the time I just play it till I feel like it's good and then release it. And, like, I've never, like, speedrun any of my own hacks or anything. Like, I'll play it back after release and stuff every once in a while, but I don't, like, speedrun them really or anything. Uh, so this is the first time I've ever really, like, engaged with a challenge mode of my own hack. Obviously to make sure it's possible, but also just because it's pretty addicting, honestly. I'm not going to farm this coin, but you can farm this coin specifically pretty easy. <clears throat> There's a couple of spots where I put a coin right next to a door entry, which ended up actually inadvertently being a great idea. <laughs> I mostly just did it to kind of fill out some space of some like empty ground here and there, um, because an important part of this challenge mode hack is that it, it is the exact same game as the regular game, which has infinite lives and stuff. Um, just the only difference is that lives and continues matter in this one. And I guess technically the other one has a different life, like, starting count now, but that doesn't matter at all if the lives don't decrement, so... I Speed strat. Oh, I mean, the speed strat is not going to get this. <laughs> but speed strat for getting this. You need to say hi to the ninja again. Hi, ninja. Oh yeah, um, we also have access to the GDQ levels since I helped test for that. So we'll probably stream that at some point soonish. Uh, maybe what we can do, hopefully, if everything works out okay, ideally beat Bunny Bunny Panic Challenge Mode and get the first Age of Dream tonight. So then I can edit together Dram and stuff and then also work on actually releasing this. Um, and then we can show with the GDQ levels. Um, spoilers, I was not very good at the GDQ levels when I tested them, like they kind of kicked my ass, so it's probably going to be like a multi-stream thing for me to get through it. <laughs> but that's fine, because um, I, I, I don't really have a ton of like insider stuff, but I guess it'll technically be like playtester commentary for it. Um, I do have like a little bit of insider knowledge, I guess, because I was a playtester for it, but probably nothing you haven't heard if you've watched any of the like racers or designers at this point. But I guess if you haven't heard those- oh my god, let me out! <laughs> I was trying to say if you haven't heard those, it'd probably be fine, but then I got stuck in the fucking snake. And kind of freaked out a little bit. Everything's fine. I think that was our actual first death, which that's absolutely a PB for how far we've gone deathless, so we'll take that. We don't need the potion. Oh, 
don't get stuck under that plant oh, yeah. if you do that. <laughs> That, not, well, I guess both of those jumps, but especially the, like, duck jump into the two tiles of quicksand is absolutely a jump that I fully acknowledge as the creator I just know the timing for. Because I feel like even when I took, like, a little bit of time off from this game and tried to relearn it, that jump fucking sucks. <laughs> like, 90% of players, I think, are probably just going to take the hit there, which is fine. Um, I don't particularly care about that. Uh, if you've noticed, I... There's like two levels, I think, that I even remotely force, like, getting through it in a one hit specifically. And those are the gimmicks of those levels, so they're kind of designed around that. <clears throat> Otherwise, every level in this game is basically just built like a Kaizo level, with the understanding that you're probably gonna damage boost through one of the obstacles. Let's go! It didn't break on me this time! That ladder, for some reason, has been giving me the business on my past couple of attempts. I'm not entirely sure why. But I always kind of hold my breath. And it's funny because it's absolutely just like a kind of filler room. I guess I could just have 2-1 probably link you to the outside of this room. Well, we did good for 2-1, and then we drained a ton of lives in this segment. That's fine, whatever. I broke apart super pokey. No, I'm sorry, buddy. Go back to go back together. Could have gotten some extra coins there if I did that movement faster, but it's fine. Getting the mushroom before this fight was more important than the coins. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda just drew this because it ended up being kind of a silly sad face. But the sad face arena ended up actually probably being one of the better boss arenas I designed for this act. <laughs> Yo, we'll take that. I'm gonna need every life we can for this level. I just jump back on the Astro there, but I always was out and just land on the cloud first. Oh, that's mu that must have been what happened last time is the Astro like clipped into there and then also turned around. Ah, shit. Can I? I don't think there was any saving that anyway. Wait, do I need to break from the wood? I think I just used up all the wood. No, I didn't. 
That's also another trick that I probably have mad greater bias on and is actually like really difficult. <laughs> uh, but also you can just damage boost through it. That's the first time that that guy hasn't run into the corner for me. They're gonna kind of freak out about it. Okay, then I need to go by. Well. Normally he just bonks another corner like that. Cutscene. Maru. Or Demetrius. Maru. I almost did the thing where I undercut that jump on accident. Maru, right? I have to potentially get through this too. Come to realize that plant is not actually necessary in any way, shape, or form because you're just jumping up through here anyway. I'm just gonna throw this Ostro and damage boost, but I need to like. Okay, so he seems like he would have been fine that time, but. Hey, Velo. Have Shy Guy Ostro Knights shown up in any other Mario game? I don't think. Actually, your dad was being weird. Honestly, I don't think Shy Guys in general show up in enough Mario games, but I don't think Shy Guys writing anything has really shown up in any other game. And I think the Ostros are kind of just an enemy that are lost to the sands of SMB2. Along with a surprising amount of other stuff. Like, SMB2 definitely brought a lot of, like, cool things over to Mario. But it also kind of, like, left behind a lot of stuff that I think could have been just as fun. Also, I have a little going. Uh, I think we're dead. Yep. That's okay. Oh my god, so much wood. Just focus. Wow, those bombs were all over me that life. Okay. Not a very good start. That's fine. 
I'm pretty sure that guy showed up and dropped his bomb while I was like in the process of grabbing another one. It did not even occur to me that that bomb might have blown up before I got there. Very sick, very cool, thank you game. These bombs are never landing where I think they're gonna land because they're so much faster than I expect them to be. Good dodge, Birdo. Good dodge. Not even mad, just kind of impressed. Oh, that's not gonna work. I was ducking, that still hit me? That Birdo is stressful in challenge mode, yo. Spout hitboxes, man, come on.
I actually got the bonus coins too. This float in particular is a little awkward because you can't float all the way to the right, but you like kind of need to land on the right, otherwise you get carried into the spike there. I can actually probably take that shell with me to the end now that I'm thinking about it. Oh no, because I'm floating over to it, never mind. Because there you're jumping onto it so it refreshes your float as you're on your way over. But here you're floating over to it, that makes sense. Nope, just leave, just leave, just leave, just leave. <laughs> Not like coins fucking do anything anyway. Every time I'm small and do that jump, I undercut it. down. I deserve that death. That's fine. I didn't think that worked. <laughs>
that out the goddamn door, please. <laughs> I don't need to keep entering the story. Okay, thank you. A baby! A baby raccoon! I got weird momentum off of that and died somehow. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not entirely sure how. <laughs> I did kind of look away for that jump, but like I also expected to have very different momentum than I did. Normally that jump is like zero probable. Yo, that lottery popped the fuck off, Jesus. <laughs> that was definitely the best lotto we've ever had. I'm sure that was a one shot too, so that definitely helped. Alright, we need every life we can for World 5.
wait, who would say an animal's name, though? It might say its name when you're, like, checking up on them and stuff. Okay. 5 3, please work for me. Thank you, Velo. This challenge has proven to be much more difficult than I thought it was going to be, which I guess is a good sign. It's difficult but fair, I guess, let me reiterate. Like even when I didn't have that many lives, it wasn't really a question on if I could do it or not, it was just a question on if I needed to like increase the life count to make it more fun. Okay, just get through this goddamn boss fight, please. play the waiting game to get a rock. Baby, finally. Turtle! Dude, this turtle is always in my fucking way everywhere. Move! I have too many pets, you guys. I have too many fucking pets. I'll admit it. I got too excited that you could get a lot, and I have too many. And they're in my way on the farm. They're in my way on my small, small farm. <sighs> Move, turtle, and then it moves so fucking slow. Turtles notorious for moving fast. Wait, we don't have Yeehaw walking anymore? You don't even have Yeehaw leave? Does Yeehaw arrive? That's silly. He said there was. Yeah, that was the joke, Kevin.
Ah. When you throw the potion, you get a little bit of, like, an extra boost that you have to account for when landing. I also haven't played any of these levels in challenge mode, so these are probably going to be life drains. Oh good, he's still in my goddamn motherfucking way. Ah! That scared me. I'm sorry! This stupid turtle will not fucking move, man! I just wasn't expecting you to yell on You sorry. know what? I wasn't expecting me to yell either, but here we are! I'm sorry! It's fine. <laughs> Love you! Love you too. Grab the heart, please. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Clutch it out, let's go. Oh good, it wasted the fruit. Perfect. Nope. So it's not clutching it out. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. Wait, is the stuff on the wall in the way? You haven't been here before, so this level in challenge mode is hard. That's okay. Wouldn't be much of a challenge mode if it wasn't actually challenging, right? Can't go in here without the potion, but with the potion you can warp to world seven. Plant, right. And with that we have two more levels and then we beat in challenge mode. It's locked right. in. Yeah, no, no, it in the way, and I forgot. Warped all the way here for no reason. Kevin tried to tell me but it was too late. A frog? It's a turtle. I'm not sure why I said frog. Okay. Grab the heart. Damage boost. I didn't think that bubble was gonna spawn again, I'm gonna be honest. Damn it. <laughs> you haven't seen SMB2 long door. Yeah, it's only in that room. Uh, there's actually like just a standard long door, uh, but it's really, really hard to use. Some things in SMB2 are like exceptionally picky, while others are like, yeah, feel free to use me in any way that you want. Surprisingly, Birdo is one of those things that you can kind of just use wherever you want. I was expecting Birdo to be like, you can only use it in like very specific situations. But Birdo, you can kind of just slap wherever you want. And you can either make it a boss, Birdo, or not. Just kind of depending on what you want. Okay. One more level left. Okay. It's a very hard one. Thanks. Sorry, I got really excited. Somebody mentioned this in the SMB2 Discord, how there's like a separate animation for walking on the conveyor belts, even though the conveyor belts are literally only used in like this section of 7-2 and I think that's a nice touch. SMB2 has a lot of like weirdly advanced things in it which I think is why it's been such a fun time to hack and I hope other people 
get involved with it. I know Glitch has mentioned the potential of like a jump style collab hack uh, with me, him, and a couple of other creators. I'm definitely interested in that whenever that comes around because I will love the design for that. Okay, it is exceptionally important that I do not go through this door fast. Okay. Because <clears throat> you only get one shot at that mushroom. This looks awesome. Thanks, John. How's it going? Good to see you. We've been, uh... Well, we've been hard at work on this since, like, last August. Uh, but we basically made all of our, like, substantial progress, uh, since, like, February-ish. Which, like, honestly, since February we've made an obscene amount of progress, so... <laughs> it was worth the couple of months of absolutely no progress whatsoever. Also, shoutouts to past me for giving five bombs there. I appreciate my past generosity because it paid off much. I think I can still make this. Okay. So that's the easy strat for this level, by the way. I feel like most people probably will not know that going into the level. But also I feel like if you are given the option, you will probably pick Princess or Luigi every time. Luigi has a similar fast strat there. The only player that has to either just straight up damage boost or do it as intended as Mario, I think. That's two. That's three. A little early, that's fine. Four. Five. A little early, that's fine. Just wait. Six. Okay, nice. Alright, so even without the big lotto of lives that we got in that like stretch of a couple of levels, was that another door? We beat challenge mode, and we kind of crushed it that run, honestly. Thank you. Good job. That seemed hard. That was hard. Took me a couple of streams to do, actually. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think we are at a good spot now. Um, I think giving six or five continues, whatever I ended up having. Uh, yeah, probably. I only played one day. I haven't even got through it. Thanks for the Gs, everyone. I'm very proud of that. Um, for those that didn't know this is my hack and it is going to be released probably in the next couple of days at this point uh thanks for the g's again this was very hard <laughs> um yeah so this is the regular ending basically in the regular ending you get to see how many times you used each character um and then warts carried off and destroyed by the little like bezos right or whatever they are you only really get to see those. I think these are actually technically the residents of Sub Cohen in that little like dream world that you're in, but you like literally only see them in that ending cutscene, so it's tough to tell. Um, cool. Um, so that was my last like major obstacle before release. Um, I think we have tuned up this hack as much as we possibly can. <clears throat> we have box art. We have the logo drawn. And basically all I have left to do is to make my romhacking.net account and yeah, actually said, write stuff up for it. I might also need to grab some screenshots, but honestly I can just do that with this VOD, because this VOD's probably making it to YouTube. Say hi to YouTube everyone, by the way, because uh, hi, YouTube. this will basically be both my 1.0 <laughs> video. Thanks, bud. Sorry, CEO said say hi to YouTube, so I did. <laughs> This will be my 1.0 uh, Bunny Bunny Panic VOD as well as my Challenge Mode VOD. I'm glad we decided to do another run tonight. We got pretty quickly up to uh, 
the claw grip boss and then kind of choked it last oh. run. I think we seriously used like. I tried to sound like the guys. You did. Okay, you did good. <laughs> I wasn't I sure you. if it read or not. I think we choked like five lives away on that claw grip boss last time. I think the claw grip boss is unironically the hardest boss of the game. Uh, there is a quick kill for it, and I've gotten it, like, I thought fairly consistently during testing, but I was never able to actually get it during the challenge mode runs. Uh, you have to, like, hit the, uh, hedgehog first, and then, like, both the sniff it or rock and the porcupo, like, kind of jump up into him, and then he gets hit, like, six times in a row. Uh, but yeah, we have an ad starting in about a minute, so I'm gonna go ahead and take a quick break. Uh, when we come back, we will be switching to some SMW, and I'm gonna try to get the first H and Dram one again because I realized I never highlighted that back in.